Next to rock like Mick Foley. Yeah. It's Nick Joby, kill him softly. Play that awesome looking Miami blue um, S58 components for the guys over at R44 and Tom Wrigley. I'm Jay Dalgano. I own German Auto Work. I ride the Zamboni. I feel like old Tani, good anywhere you throw me. Right. She eat a Chobani, cause her body getting bony. Yeah. Late night, heavy scrolling. Vape light, heavy smoking. Yeah. We got our healthy habits. Hey. We've been already growing. Okay. It's like we drowning in them. Yeah. It seems the levee's broken. Right. But it's not too late to change them. And refrain from being slaves to the vices that encage them. Hey. I'm writing on it. Hey. New beginnings on the cusp. on the cusp, not too old to adjust, old dog, new tricks, remember I was just a pup, son dirty in my, cup. in my cup, clean soul, good karma is a must, still my shooter in the cut, I was stuck inside a rut. Yeah, so um, obviously we got the GSC, we got the, the valves, um, so the interesting part about GSC which separates them from other valve manufacturers is the actual angle of the valve, you can't really see with the packaging. But it actually gives some increased CFM flow in the cylinder head, which is quite a unique feature of the GSC stuff. The quality of this stuff is just literally second to none, though. You'll see when we get the camshafts out, they are absolutely awesome. A full billet machine to precision, perfect. Um, and Greg is an absolutely awesome bloke. You know, he's helped us out so much. He's partnered with my G80 and my 140. They didn't even make the cams for that car when they turned them around literally about three or four days from production to actually being here and got us to the uh, Door Slammers event. Um, so that was, yeah, massive appreciation. Um, so that's, these are titanium retainers. Um, for, the, for the valve spring, so obviously as we discussed, we're increasing your RPM, so this is important, these kind of things, otherwise a stock one could break, um, meaning it'll drop the valve. Um, so that's your intake and exhaust, easy both sets of springs, so again, um, these are a stiffer spring, so that basically means that when you run higher boost, you're not going to succumb to sort of valve flow, which is basically where the boost of the engine forces the spring open. So if you imagine you've got boost going in here, yeah. the spring's job is to keep that valve shut. If the springs aren't strong enough, what will happen is the boost will actually push it open uh, and then you can get valve flow, um, which can sometimes feel like a bit of a misfire or high-end RPM. But obviously we know these work. Our car's making some big numbers now. Um, it's got obviously 8-0 in the quarter mile, so we're yeah, right in the mix. You know, so it's got, it's, it's making some big power. So it's all tried and tested. I mean, the bit that really stands out, like I said, the valves to look at, they're, you know, they're awesome, but the, the, the technical side behind it with that, you know, the increased flow is amazing. And then we'll get the cams out now. Um, that's, they just sell themselves by looking at them, to be honest, they're absolutely awesome. We're not actually doing any um, work to the cylinder head at the moment. My car runs stock um, porting. However, you know, we have discussed doing a V2 engine, but for the moment, I'm not seeing a huge problem. I no doubt there will be some gains, but um, we're gonna leave it stop for now. This has just been chemically clean, so it's all really clean and uh, everything's all been replaced. All the, the valves, the springs, the oil retainers. Underneath has been skimmed, so we get that perfect finish. Obviously, when you put the head back together to the block, your block's gonna be blocked and decked and sleeved. Um, after the sleeve and they'll face the block and then you'll basically yes you face this as well uh, give it a light skin and that means that the gasket will be perfectly sealed um, and all good to run all that boost and it'll be be nice um, so it just keeps it all, all fresh so yeah we can get the cams out now if you want and um, I'll show you those G, anything to get a buck you won't find me in the club I'm in the lab trying to sharpen up the sword swinging blades at these scrubs bitches flock like bugs to the light yeah right treat my hoes like these raps I don't really hey new beginnings on the cusp not too old to adjust, old dog, new tricks Remember I was just a pup, son dirty in my cup Clean soul, good karma is a must Still my shooter in the cut, I was stuck inside a rut Played the game, made bank, move G, anything to get a buck So cams are now unboxed um, Obviously with every engine you got your two sets of cams You've got the inlet and the exhaust um, I mean the bit that strikes you with the GSCs over anything else is just how beautiful they are really. They're all billet. Um, the finish on them is absolutely second to none. Um, so shout out to those guys really. The craftsmanship on them is amazing. And the performance as well. This particular one we're going to use is the Stage 2. So that's kind of the middle of the road. They do a Stage 1 cam. 
Uh, stage two is what I run in my own G80, which has been good to power us to over 1500 horsepower so far. And they also do a stage three version, which we have some prototypes of now to put in my car to give a test. Um, so just see what happens. The duration of the lobe on the stage three is a lot bigger, so we'll have to see what effect that has on the performance and whether it's worth it, um, and if there's any other sort of uh, downside to doing that. So, but for now, we know these stage twos are tried and tested. They're going to get some numbers we need, um, and yeah, absolutely awesome bit of kit. And uh, yeah, can't wait for it and see what it'll do in the end too. So this is the full GSC valve train unbox now. Um, so the main thing we've got is the cams. Um, well, it's a whole kit really, but I'll run you through a bit of um, part of it. What we've got is so the cams. Visibly, um, the important thing with the cams is the lobe. So this is basically what drives the valve. Um, now you have two differences when you upgrade the cams. You have a taller lobe, which basically gives more um, valve lift. So basically the valves are open further and um, duration and that's how long the valves are open for. So obviously the wizards at GSC have tested all of this um, through their years of experience and they come up with this solution which is a drop-in solution immediately gives you good gain particularly on big power builds. As we described before the quality of them is literally Un unrivaled really in my opinion on cams um, full billet super strong so the material is extremely good quality as well so you won't be getting any worn out cam lobes which is quite common with other brands after a while running big power you can get worn out cam lobes the springs so um, these are like what I said before these are what control the valve to stop it from just doing what it wants. You've obviously got boost trying to push them open, so it's vital that you get the right spring to keep the valve shut when you want them shut and open when you want them open. Um, so these are a stiffer material, so this gives a, a sort of stiffer spring for the valves to so keep the valve shut when you want. Um, the stem seals, um, which are here, are an upgraded um, Viton, it's called, so it's a type of rubber. So this is uh, this seals oil from basically coming from the cylinder head, which is above the engine, where there's obviously all the oil for the lubrication. That stops it going down the valve and into the engine. If that happens, quite common on older cars now. If you get some smoke in, it's not always the reason why they smoke. I will say that, but some of the reason is for the valve stem oil seals. So what happens is this um, this part here, which is the OEM unit, that seals around there and that means that oil seeps down and then obviously once it gets in the engine it causes smoke so we change those anyway uh, these are GSC's own ones so these are an upgrade as well final piece of the puzzles the valves which as I explained before are very unique to the GSC setup so the actual design of the valve the angle in here um, enables a maximum amount of flow um, the material of these valves is also a much better quality than standard and it's not that there's anything wrong with the standard you know BMW make these engines to build the power that they make you know so it's a credit to them they make an awesome engine it's not not really a comparison of that it's more obviously when you upgrade you need to upgrade the parts with it but for standard they're absolutely fine you know uh, even up to stage two and stage three it's, it's only when you start going big power this is important obviously if you don't upgrade these you can get broken valves the head can snap off so it's just a, a well worthy thing and also like i said to you before the increased flow that these gscs offer is um is really awesome so that's a bit of a run through really of the full valve train so it'll be all gsc yeah looking forward to seeing how it does um the numbers in the in the smaller chassis obviously we, we try and test it with our car so we know what it'll do i'm looking forward to what we're doing this m2 <laughs>
Oh, oh, oh.